China has removed Li Shangfu from his post of defense minister. The announcement via state media follows a near two-month absence from public view. Now, the general had last appeared at a keynote speech at a security forum with African nations. That was on the 29th of August. His ministry had then canceled his trip to Vietnam, citing health conditions. He is the second senior official to be removed from office this year after former foreign minister Chin Gang. Li Shangfu's dismissal comes amid a crackdown by President Xi Jinping on corruption within the military. For more, Olivia Xiong joins us. She is live in Beijing. Oli, what do we know about Mr. Li's abrupt removal and what could be behind the recent leadership shakeups? Dawn, after weeks of speculation, it is now confirmed that Li Shangfu has been stripped of his post as defense minister. He's also been removed as state councillor, which had put him at a higher rank than a regular minister in the Chinese cabinet. He's also been removed from his position as a member of the Central Military Commission. Now, no reasons, though, have been given officially for this latest move, this announcement being made on state television in its prime broadcast just a short while ago this evening. And this follows a bi-monthly meeting by the country's top legislature's uh, standing committee, which approved these uh, personnel movements. Now, the rumours had been swirling for weeks as Mr. Lee has been absent from the public eye. There have also uh, been uh, speculation and reports that he had been put under investigation for corruption. The foreign ministry and the defense ministry not addressing uh, queries from the media on this as well. Yet Mr. Lee had also missed several meetings that had been scheduled with other foreign leaders. Now, uh, the timing of this announcement of Mr. Lee's removal is key. It comes just ahead of a very high-level defense forum that's going to be held here in Beijing starting this weekend. It's the first time that it's taking place in years since the COVID COVID-19 pandemic, the Defence Ministry noting today that there are a record number of representatives attending from over 90 countries and international organisations. We are also expecting that delegation from the US, which is expected to restart and bring some new life to talks between China and the US on the military front. So now we know that Mr. Lee won't be the one receiving these foreign guests. The question is whether a new defense minister will be announced before the forum takes place. Uh, no one has been named in this current announcement. We also saw at the recent high-profile Belt and Road Forum that it was General Zhang Youxia, who is uh, China's number two military official, who was meeting other foreign uh, military uh, officials as well. And with this announcement, it's not just Mr. Li, but we are also getting confirmation that former Foreign Minister Qin Gang has been stripped of his title as a state councillor as well. He was removed from the post as Foreign Minister back in July. Um, but while this may not come as a huge surprise, this is still being closely watched and it is still being seen as shocking given that this is the latest removal from a top leadership position in just uh, three months. And also, uh, it comes not long after Chinese President Xi Jinping secured his unprecedented third term at the helm last year where he was seen to have been able to stack the top echelons of the Chinese leadership with his allies. Well, meantime, Oli, Foreign Minister Wang Yi is making a trip to the United States. Uh, it will, of course, be the highest ranking Chinese official to visit Washington in nearly five years now, well before the pandemic. What's on the agenda for that meeting? Yes, Don, we have to note that Mr. Wang was the one who replaced Ting Gang as foreign minister. And this visit has been long awaited, a sign of perhaps warming ties and some optimism. We know that Mr. Wang will be meeting his U.S. counterparts, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, as well as National Security Advisor Jack, Jake Sullivan. We do not know if he will be sitting down with U.S. President Joe Biden just yet. But this visit is being seen seen as high stakes 
and is seen as being one that will pave the way for a possible meeting by the leaders of the two countries, Chinese President Xi Jinping and his U.S. counterpart Joe Biden at the APEC meeting in San Francisco next month. Uh, this comes as both countries have tried in the last few months to manage their differences, and it comes after a series of visits uh, by both sides. We saw the U.S. Secretary of State visiting uh, Beijing back in June, and he had invited, uh, you know, Mr. Wang to visit the U.S. for some time now. According to reports, Mr. Wang and Mr. Blinken will also discuss the Israel-Hamas conflict as well as Russia's war in Ukraine. The question is whether there will be any substantive outcomes, as we have seen that uh, China has stuck to its position, even as the U.S. has tried to get China to use its influence and its time with Iran, which backs Hamas to do more to help rein in tensions and to prevent the conflict from spreading even further in the Middle East. So this will certainly be a visit to be closely watched, not just for the bilateral ties, but also for the wider geopolitical implications. Don? It certainly will be. Oli, thank you very much for that update. Olivia Xiong there in Beijing.